Around the 1st of May, three to 400 uh, pawpaw seeds were planted in uh, various types of containers. Uh, some were planted in these uh, paper pots, as you can see here. Some were planted in two plastic cups duct taped together. And some were planted in these concentric pots that have a pot within a pot. Uh, hopefully, uh, what this will do is allow the pawpaw to develop a deep taproot uh, while laterally constraining the growth of the roots, which should make them a little bit easier to separate later on. It's been two months since uh, the pawpaw seeds were planted, and so far the only things coming up are weeds. July 8th, 2012, uh, the pawpaw project is continuing, and uh, I've recently put up this nice blue ugly tarp right in front of the uh, cabin, and uh, there's a very good reason for that. Uh, just coming over here. You can see right in here where this will show up. There is a pawpaw seed right down there. Just sent up a. Uh, uh, now it's now sending up leaves. Zoom in right there. And it looks like there's another one over here that's just sending out leaves. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that. But uh, pawpaw seedlings are very sensitive to light, and, and uh, full sun will actually kill them. So I've had to put up this uh, shade here. Hello, Brian Lynch here. It's uh, July 21st, a week later. Uh, the pawpaws uh, are coming up uh, quite nicely now. I looked at uh, these uh, plastic pots here, and I uh, counted up about 40 uh, little pawpaw trees that have come up, uh, and I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, over in the paper pots, I've uh, counted maybe 10 or so uh, pawpaws that are starting to come up, which, uh, you know, I, I was hoping for a lot better uh, success rate in the paper pots, but uh, I guess the paper pots don't hold the uh, water quite as well as the plastic pots, so the germination rates aren't quite as well. The paper pots are also a lot more work than the plastic pots. Uh, I put a lot, or I uh, planted the seeds a lot more closely together in the plastic pots, so if I'm able to successfully transfer the pawpaws from the plastic pots into the ground without too many of them dying, uh, that's definitely the way I will be uh, uh, planting these seeds again if I try this in the future, uh, because the plastic pots were a lot less work. September 22nd now, uh, out here at the house, I uh, decided to move these pawpaw seedlings from the orchard to the house uh, because Indiana was going through a bit of a drought this year and I was only able to come out and uh, water these things on the weekends and uh, they were struggling a bit. Uh, but uh, by moving them to the house, I was able to the water them as often as they needed. Out of the 300 or so seeds I planted, I'd say approximately 100 seedlings have sprouted, which I'm pretty happy with. I had hoped for these seedlings to grow large enough in their first year so that they could be grafted over to name varieties in their second year. However, uh, that looks like it's just not going to happen. Uh, perhaps things would have been different if I had gotten the seeds earlier so that I could give these trees a longer growing season in their first year. Uh, perhaps things would have also been different if I had uh, kept these out at my house the entire year and uh, been able to uh, give them a uh, more consistent watering.